Is it true the new police, crime, sentencing and court bill will limit our fundamental right to protest? Hello and welcome to Easy Law. Please click the subscribe button below this video for easy to understand explanations of UK law. Today we are talking about the new police, crime, sentencing and court bill introduced by Priti Patel and passed through Parliament on the 16th of March 2021. Now, Miss Patel particularly claims that this bill will help back her promise to support the police and make our streets safer. However, what exactly is this bill and why are so many people unhappy about it? Essentially, this bill gives more power to police when it comes to policing protests. The bill has gained particular scrutiny due to the controversial nature of the way the police acted when policing the vigil of Sarah Everard. Sarah was the young lady who was recently murdered in London while simply walking home. Now, in particular, the bill imposes start and end times on protests, sets maximum noise limits, bans disruptive protests, and makes it easier to convict protesters who ignore these rules. It also imposes up to a 10-year jail sentence for damaging a statue. Many people have voiced concern over limiting our fundamental right to protest and both Labour and the SNP voted against the bill in Parliament. However, of course, the majority Tory government were able to pass the bill. And so that is the current situation regarding the police, crime, sentencing and court bill. Please let me know if you think it should have passed in the comments and whether you think it does restrict our fundamental rights. And please click the subscribe button for more easy to understand updates of UK law. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.